Hey guys, I've, today I've um, took apart one of my two-stroke engines, Dorma PB250. Uh, it was a leaf blower engine. This is the first two-stroke that I pulled apart um, many months ago. And um, I want to get it going now. And when I pulled it apart, first of all, I ripped all the gaskets and stuff. So it's leaking oil and it's not actually working. So I'm going to have to make up some new gaskets. So I don't, I don't think I can buy any, but um, I'll just get some gasket material. Um, and yeah, make up some gaskets for this part and the head. Uh, now I've heard of other things you can use as gaskets. Um, I just want to ask you guys what I can actually use other than the gasket material. Uh, so that's basically it. Um, I broke the compression ring as well when I was on when I first pulled it apart. It, oops, it probably won't work, but I JB welded it together. Can't see it much, but yeah, I've JB welded the spring. Just watching when I was stepping on. Um, so yeah, that probably won't work. That's just drying there. Oops, I just moved it. I'll fix that up after. Yeah, that'll do. Um, so yeah, JB loaded the compression ring together. Probably won't work. I probably just need to get a new one, but I'll try it out anyway. Um, so yeah, make up some new gaskets. And that's about it. Um, so while I'm here, I thought I'd just explain the inner workings of the two-stroke. So first of all, you take off the head. And the barrel. And then you take off the flywheel, which just sits on here. And then there's three screws behind the flywheel. On most two-strokes, if you're wondering how to take apart the crankcase, this is how you do it. It's most likely, 90% of the time, behind the flywheel. Every two-stroke I've had is behind the flywheel anyway. Um, so you take off those three screws, then pull it apart, and you get to this part. And this is where all your motion happens. And it goes like so. So, basically, with the two-stroke, you don't put oil in the crankcase like a four-stroke. A four-stroke has the oil sitting, uh, you just fill up the whole crankcase with oil so it just sits in a bath. Um, I'm not going to get in too much of two four strokes, but just explain two strokes here. With two strokes, you mix your oil and your fuel together. So your fuel, um, when your piston is up on the, I'll get it. When your piston's on its highest part of the stroke, the inlet will be about here, and all this fuel will gush and go into your crankcase here, which will lubricate your um, moving parts of your engine or your bearings and all that sort of stuff. Then, when this comes down, there are on the side here, there's little inlets on either side. So, when it comes down to a certain point, when the piston comes down to just about there, all this fuel will go past the piston and go up to the top. And when the piston comes back up, it explodes it. And then while it's it's at its highest part of the stroke and exploding that fuel, the other fuel comes in. <clears throat> and when it comes down again, um, obviously all the fuel comes up to the top and explodes it, um, and so on. Um, while it's going up in the stroke, you'll have all its fuel there and your exhaust fumes will be pushed out. Your exhaust fumes will be sitting at the top and they'll be pushed out and then explodes. And so yeah, that's basically how it all works. They're a pretty simple engine um, compared to four strokes. Four strokes are a little bit uh, more complicated. Four strokes, yeah, like I said, they have a bath of oil. They have these little flicker things. So the oil flicks up to the side um, of the piston to lubricate the piston. Um, with a two-stroke, you only have one ring. You have just the compression ring. 
with four strokes, I believe. Yeah, you have three, three, three rings. I think it's two compression rings and one oil ring. Um, I think that's it. So your two compression rings are at the top, which obviously are for compression. Um, and then your oil ring will be at the bottom, which will be a little bit smaller. So the oil, because the oil is a bit thicker, the oil can go on the side and lubricate the piston, but it can't go past those two top rings, so the oil can't go up. What happens with a four-stroke sometimes is um, you get blue smoke, which means is uh, your compression ring or both your compression rings or whatever has um, gone, which makes it smaller, so the oil can seep up past this and go into your fuel and it explodes and your um, oil comes out through your exhaust which um, so yeah if you're if you have four stroke then it's making blue smoke it means when your compression rings are broken so there's a bit of information for you and that's basically what I've been working on today I've also been um, working a little bit on the um, four stroke Briggs and a chainsaw. I'll make another video for that because this one's getting a bit long. See you later.